Hello! Today we're going to read a book called Kindergater's Hands Off Harry, and it's by Rosemary Wells. Guess what happened in school today? Tell us, Lola. Harry ran all the way down the hall and into school backward. He even said good morning backward. Can you walk backwards? It's hard. He knocked Babette, Tina, and Benjamin out of friendly circle and onto the floor. Harry laughed, but no one else did. Miss Harmony said it was not a friendly thing to do to friendly circle. She gave Harry a timeout in the thinking chair. How do you think his friends felt when he pushed them out of the circle? Do you think that they liked that? I don't think so either. You can see they look pretty upset except for Harry. Harry, you need to think about respecting other people's personal space, said Miss Harmony. But Harry did not do too much thinking. Babette told Miss Harmony, Harry is disrespecting the thinking chair. Miss Harmony redirected Babette to the bead corner. You would think the thinking chair would make Harry think about what he did wrong, but no. Let's see what he did instead. At make a snowflake time, he sneaked out of his chair and then he poked Miracle in the ribs. Her glue spilled onto her shoes and ruined her snowflake. Miracle melted down. It was an accident, said Harry. Everyone knew that wasn't the truth and Harry got another time out. How do you think it felt for Miracle to be poked in the ribs? Do you think she thought it was funny? No, I don't think so either. I think Harry wasn't being very kind. Miss Harmony rang her listen up bell. Can you ring your listen up bell? Ding, 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 ding. Good job. Okay, put it down. What do we use our hands for? She asked. Shake a hand, said Nigel. Hold a hand, answered Babette. Lend a hand, shouted Miguel. Do you think Harry thought about shaking, holding, or lending a hand? You can see here, we use our hands to shake, hold, or lend, which means help somebody out. No way. While Miss Harmony was not looking, Harry scooted over to Benjamin's busy station. Harry put both his hands on Benjamin's shoulders and shouted, surprise. Does Benjamin look happy? It looks a little bit scared. Let's see what happened. Benjamin's poster paint spilled all over his new shirt and pants. Miss Harmony had to wash Benjamin's clothes. Then she got out Benjamin's cubby outfit, but it didn't fit anymore. So when Harry scared him, Benjamin spilled paint all down his outfit. I bet you think Miss Harmony got mad, but no. She rang her listen up bell and called for friendly circle. Get your listen up bells out again. Can you ring them again? Ding, ling, 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 ling. Good job. Okay, put it down. Everyone got a turn to speak. We don't like to be pushed, said Tina. Or poked, said Babette. Hands off, Harry, said Raoul. My favorite shirt is ruined forever, said Benjamin. That snowflake was a present for my mama, said Miracle. And now my shoes are stuck to my socks and my socks are stuck to my feet. What should you say to your classmates, Harry? Asked Miss Harmony. Sorry, said Harry. He doesn't mean it, said Babette. He's not using an I'm sorry voice. Harry, said Miss Harmony, when you use your I'm angry voice to say I'm sorry, no one believes you. Do you think Harry was really sorry? It doesn't sound it. Do you think he realizes he's been hurting his classmates? Maybe not. Let's see if he finds out. Miss Harmony gave Harry 20 jumping jacks in the corner. You have ants in your pants, Harry, said Babette. Do you know what ants in your pants means? It means you have a lot of energy. Miss Harmony redirected Babette to the dress-up corner, but the ants stayed right in Harry's pants. 
Those are all the jumping jacks he did. During yoga, Harry tackled Nigel. Nigel's glasses snapped in two. This is why it's helpful to ask someone before we touch them, if we're gonna hold them or hug them or high five them, because accidents can happen even if we didn't mean them to. Friendly Circle was called into an emergency session. Harry, you've invaded my personal space, said Nigel. Friendly Circle voted that Harry needed to learn where his space ended and where everybody else's space began. Just then, Babette had a brilliant idea. She ran to the gym. What do you think she's gonna get? Let's see. Babette came back with an inner tube from the pool. It was the perfect way for Harry to learn about personal space because he couldn't reach anybody. At snack time, Harry couldn't grab anyone's apple juice. He couldn't join hands at sing-along. Harry had a lot of time to think about personal space. Because he's wearing a big inner tube, he can't reach anybody. This is why it's important to understand our personal space and that sometimes people don't want us coming into theirs. But guess what? At presentation time, Harry asked Miss Harmony to let him do his show and tell. What is your show and tell presentation, Harry? Asked Miss Harmony. I wanna show everybody that my space ends here, said Harry. I wanna tell everyone I'm sorry. Harry used his real I'm sorry voice. I think he means it, said Miracle. Now, who's going to be a playground monitor today? Asked Miss Harmony. Please me, Harry asked Miss Harmony. Everybody said, no way, not Harry. Let's see what happens. But Miss Harmony said, let's give Harry a chance. And you know what? That's everyone at recess on the playground. Harry didn't touch anyone until Jasmine fell off the monkey bars. Jasmine howled and yowled so loud you could hear her all the way downtown and all the way uptown. But Harry was a good playground monitor. He got out the first aid kit, he cleaned Jasmine's knees, and put on two purple glitter band-aids. He even gave her a tissue to wipe her tears. Do you think this was using his hands in a helpful way? Yeah, yes, it was, it definitely was, because someone got hurt and needed his help. Harry, you used your hands to help, not hurt, Miss Harmony said. I'm proud of you. Everyone got an oatmeal raisin cookie, and guess what happened then? Just before see you later alligator time, Miss Harmony gave Harry the good behavior gold star. And that's what happened at school today. Do you think Harry learned a lesson about personal space? Yeah, we all have personal space bubbles around us. Sometimes we don't want someone to stand in them or hug us and that's okay. It doesn't mean someone doesn't like us. Sometimes we just need our own personal space and it's important to ask someone before we touch them before we hug them or high five them or surprise them. And I think that's what Harry learned today. Do you think? Thank you so much for reading Hands Off Harry with me. And I hope you have a good day.